Well, good morning, everyone. I'm coming to you today from Gold Key Farms from the dining room of the farmhouse. So we're going to talk about my two favorite things today, and that is corn and more corn. So we're going to talk about these things. I actually have I actually have three cobs of corn. So because we're going to talk about these three cobs. This is my experimental corn, um, and it looks dented because this is now three days old. I picked this on um, picked this on Monday. Today is a Thursday. This cob right here, I picked the next day. This was picked on Tuesday. And of course, today's Thursday, so it's two days old. And this cob right here was picked on Wednesday, yesterday, so it's one day old. But you can kind of see the difference. Um, they weren't dented yet, but this is shriveled to a dent. This one not either, but it's shriveled to a dent. This one in one day has just started to get a little bit of dent action going on. It's drying up to get to show that it's um, denting. But it doesn't actually dent until it's really mature enough to dent. So this is just doing it because it's no longer on the plant. But let's talk about this. Let's talk about the experimental cob that I have in my hand right here. Um, it's a great looking cob of corn. Uh, it's Decal 5665 is what the what the uh, number is, what the hybrid number. And on Monday, the reason why I picked this off on Monday is because on Monday I had the pleasure of hosting two individuals from the Decal Basgro company. They were names are Mike Anders and Mark Evans. Uh, those two gentlemen are seed reps or sales reps for Decal Basgro. They were excited when they came out and saw the uh, experimental corn plot. Uh, they, they walked in and I quote you when they said, this is, quote, jungle corn. We've never seen 5665 be this tall. Um, end of quote. So it was interesting to see them in the field and actually see their um, reactions to seeing what this corn looked like, what its potential really can be when you push it and you um, push it for, you know, kind of to the limit of what the potential is in the corn. Now, granted, since we haven't had the rain, in fact, I mean, this morning when I watched the news, they just reminded me, like I needed to be reminded, that we are sitting still at this point, we are sitting seven inches in a deficit of rainfall um, since the growing season started. So that's not good. Although we've had, I mean, I shouldn't say we've had, we've had somewhat timely rains, so they've helped out nicely. Uh, could we have used the seven inches throughout the season? <laughs> Absolutely we could have. But the crops still look halfway decent for what, you know, the, the, the seven inches less of rain. And um, we're going to see how it yields at the end of the day. And just by the way, um, these other cobs that I held up, this one from two days ago and this one from yesterday, they are the same hybrid, um, two different fields. They're a hybrid that's, uh, the number is 52-18. Um, it's my first year planting that. So that actually looks pretty good too. So we'll see how that comes out. I, I think there's the potential there to at least do, you know, a solid 200, 200 plus bushels to the acre on those fields. And on the experimental plot, I still think looking at it, um, you know, in 60 days from now, when I've got it harvested and I can do a post that says, this is what it was harvested, this was the moisture, the yield, the whole bit, then we'll know what it is. Until then, we're just guessing. But I do think it has the capability of at least, even in today's dry weather that we've had, to do, say, 275. But I was really excited, again, to have those guys out from DeKalb Asgro. Again, their names are Mike Anders and Mark Evans. And um, my partner from Ag Partners at Co-op in Belle Plaine, Minnesota, actually brought those people out. And my partner there, his name, her name is Courtney Wolf. So shout out to everybody who came and got excited about looking at corn because corn is a beautiful thing and it's great to watch it grow. Now, having said that, I know I have not given my other half of the crops, my soybeans, any credit this year i'm not giving any kudos they're not getting any time on the camera but they will at some point that's probably a 2024 maybe we'll do some videos about that or maybe i've been taking videos throughout the summer and putting them aside that i'm going to play during the winter time 
Nah, actually I haven't. But it sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Anyways, thanks for watching everybody on YouTube. I hope you appreciate the corn update. Like I said, it's beautiful corn. This is 20 around by, you know, 36 long. These were 18 around by like 34, 38. And yes, the cob looks a little different just because different time of planting, different hybrids, etc. cetera. Um, but, you know, that has the potential, like I said, that should be at least 200 plus. So we shall see. Thanks everyone for watching. And again, shout out to my friends over at DeKalb and for them bringing along their reps. Oh, um, not to say that I'm not, you know, endorsing my favorite seed corn.